Hey everybody, welcome to Driving with Matt. It's been about two weeks since I've done my last episode, I believe, and a lot of things have happened uh, in my life. Uh, good things. One of the things is my family finally came back from Michigan, my wife and kids, and uh, I'm really glad to have them back. And so we, I've just really been enjoying these last couple weeks with them. I finished my last day of work, but I'm still doing the Metro Mathematicus program. So that's something that's been kind of in the background of my life. And this week I'm doing the summer program to start off with the practicum for the new Metro Mathematicus teachers. So it's literally been really busy and hectic for me this last couple weeks. And um, we also, my wife and I, got a new minivan for our family to expand, help uh, you know, prepare us for expanding of our family. And uh, rides nice and you know, my 15 year old self is kicking my ass. But, you know, my wife brought up a good point. If they had the vans like they do now, would my 15 year old self be kicking my ass? Because the vans right now have some really cool, neat things. So, I don't know, I maybe think a little bit, but I think my 15 year old self would still beat me up. Or try to. I think I could whoop my 15 year old self's ass pretty good, but. He would try. He would try. Uh, another thing that's been going on lately, I don't know if all of you know this, but if you're a fan of anything Nintendo, anything Pokemon, anything, anything, all you see is everybody flocking to this Pokemon Go. And I've been actually waiting for this game to come out for quite some time. I've been reading up on it and following it and you know I had Ingress which is created by Niantic which is putting on the Pokemon Go game and so I uh, immediately downloaded it as soon as I could when it came out and uh, so I was just really excited about it coming out and so everybody's been playing this game and um, the one thing that really gets me though is that I, we, we live in a really rural area so the game gives you some basic things to start out with but you really have to um, you really have to uh, go to all these other places it encourages you to go and you know I do that but What's really hard is I live down in this area, so I can't go to all these places to get all these items and things. So I actually ran out of the Pokeballs that you use to catch Pokemon, if you don't, if you know anything about Pokemon. So I actually ran out, and um, the game uses uh, player data from Ingress, where all the other portals were. Well, what's really been frustrating me is that I know for a fact that there's a portal on my way to work in Ingress, but on Pokemon Go, where it should be a Pokestop to get items, it's not there. So, I put in a support ticket. Oh, there's the Eevee. Look, see an Eevee. I need an Eevee. And I have no Pokeballs to catch it. So, it's been really frustrating. I'm going to see if it's on my GPS location. If it's a, a Pokestop now. If it is, I'll be very happy so I can stop there on the way to work and get some much needed supplies for the Pokemon Go game. Because what's been... Oh, another Eevee. Yeah, two Eevees. What's also been fun is that I've been... Oh, it is a Pokestop, so it popped up now. Um, 
what I've also been doing is I've been taking my daughter with me on walks around my neighborhood because this game encourages you to walk around your neighborhood so that you can um, find these Pokemon that appear using the GPS on your phone. And so what's really cool is that I've been going on walks with my daughter to go get these Pokemon. And so now I'm pulling into this Pokestop. It didn't show up the other day, but now it is. Um, and now I can collect items by flinging this little thing around. Oh, and I got some good things. So now I know that this is a Pokestop. And I went to level 7. Yes, I needed that. So now I'm going to get some extra Pokeballs. And what I'm hoping... What I'm hoping is that there's some other places around town. In Rio Rico where there's other portals. So I'm hoping that there is... Um, I'm hoping that I can stop there. And one of them is a gym that hasn't been claimed yet. And I can put my Pokemon in there so I can get some coins. Some in-game currency. But uh, anyways, um, I really am enjoying this game. It's fun to play, especially with my youngest daughter. I say, you want to go for a walk and catch Pokemon? She's like, yes, catch Pokemon. And it's kind of fun. You know, I really enjoyed that aspect and it's fun for everybody and it's encouraging me to go outside and, and walk and do things so um, for now I'm just going to close it so I can focus on going but I'm enjoying the, uh, the game it's fun uh, I guess it's really popular all over the place a lot of people are playing it outside and meeting new friends and you know that's kind of neat that uh, Nintendo would make a game like that that would encourage people to go outside and be active while they're playing a game but it also has been bringing a lot of people closer together and making new friends and doing things that they normally wouldn't do and I remember when Ingress first came out uh, that game that Niantic put out when Ingress first came out it was really like uh, really cool to see that because a lot of people were getting together and communicating and, and Ingress has a really cool uh, chat feature inside of the game and a lot of people got into it and they made a really big subculture community and uh, it's really cool to see it grow in the last few years so um, I really see that this is where Pokemon Go is going to be heading and I'm really excited to see where it goes, um, you know, and uh, I just, you know, what really gets me is I wish that there was more of the shops around my neighborhood or, or I wish there was a feature to add new Pokestops so that, um, you know, I could add landmarks because sometimes, you know, there's places around town that don't show up as a landmark. I would like that to be in the game so that people can stop there and come there and meet. So, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm on my way to work. Um, and, uh, you know, just to catch up some other things, you know. Just glad to have my family home. And, you know, I'm really missing my mom and dad and my brother and my grandpa. Um, Everybody got to go camping over the 4th, and I was stuck here at my house. And, uh, I mean, my wife and kids and I, we went to the local golf resort where the community is, and we went and saw the fireworks. But, you know, it's, it's not really the same living far away from your family. You can't really go and, you know, see them as much. So, it's really... You know, I wish I could go see them more. Uh, but anyways. So, we, uh, back to some of uh, the other good things. You know, we, we, I would say we bought a minivan. And, uh, 
know, I did a lot of research on these things, and I think we got a really good deal. Um, I was really hoping to get one that had backup camera and DVD players in it, but we already have the DVD players you can put on the back of your seat, and we already have... Uh, I can figure out how to do a backup camera, but, you know, I have to admit, the van drives really smoothly down the road. You know, for a bigger vehicle, it drives really smooth. Now, driving my Honda, I already noticed, I mean, look, it's smaller, and the steering is a lot more stiff and tight, like a race car. You know, on a big vehicle like that, there's not, I mean, it doesn't play anything, but... It, um, it doesn't either, it doesn't float either, it's just kind of like, you know, it's a little, it's smooth, I guess, it's a smooth sailing van, and, um, man, the damn thing gets some pretty good mileage, we were averaging 28 miles per gallon driving this thing, and I just am dumbfounded at how awesome this you know um stuff this uh mileage was and it's a v6 and let me tell you this van's got some power and uh when you step on the thing when you step on the gas it goes it wants to go and uh that's pretty you know I guess that's good uh, but I'm pleased and it's nice and I'll probably do a, a feature video on that but for today you know this is how I'm going I'm trying to do some Pokemon Go videos and get on the bandwagon making money off of that but it's not working out because uh, I don't know how to do the um, copyrighted material permission I don't know how to ask for permission to use that material in my videos and so if anybody can help me out with that that would be great uh, but until then peace out see you guys later